Good morning, YouTube. Hulk Hogan, the racist incident, is a work. Now, this comes straight from the Steve Austin podcast. A work is when two wrestlers, namely the babyface and the heel, work a crowd. As Al Snow, a very good wrestler, said, that's why we shake hands, the baby face and the heel, because the baby face is telling the heel, oh, I'll get you heat. And the heel is saying, uh, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll put you over. I'll put you over. It's a work. A shoot means that's why they have these shoot interviews. They'll say, what they did back in the days of kayfabe, um, they, they, they protected their society like Masons do to this day. They protected their business. And a lot of, if you just listen to the, the shoot interviews, a lot of the guys did not know that wrestling wasn't real because it was protected. And some in that diet, that time, people used to make fun of people who believed wrestling. It was kind of a pejorative. Oh, he thinks wrestling is real. He wears a dress. Uh, he still lives at home with his mother. You know that kind of thing. It's a it's a pejorative. It's what it is. So, what facts do I have? The first thing on my other video when I spoke about Mr. Hogan or Terry Bollet a man that I sacked his groceries for in 1979, almost 40 years ago. The first thing that I have, the first factoid I have, is I have not seen any video evidence of this. All I see is the Young Turks getting on and reading a transcript. All I have is transcripts. And excuse me for saying this, he said fucking niggers in a transcript. He did not say that on tape. I never heard that word, that term there. And I can assure you that every white person in Alabama or West Virginia where I'm at, all the way over the South, have said that term. They've said it. I can assure you. So that is to make us believe that every last one of us is a racist, that we're Nazis, that we're the worst sort of vermin on the planet. That's what they want to convince you of. When we're decent people, when we love our wives, when we love our kids, when we work, when we care about things. And uh, yeah, that's what they want you to believe. The people who are doing this. And that's fine. You know, this was, he was having an affair with a, with a woman who was married to a guy, Bubba the Love Sponge. So he was, excuse my language, but fucking a married woman. All right? And that is wrong. He was breaking one of the commandments in the Bible. One of the Ten Commandments. He was fucking his bro's woman. All right? That specifically stated you don't do that. It, they didn't care if when, when these guys, when these soldiers went out and slaughtered these, their enemies, which they had to, or they died. It was kill or be killed. They slaughtered your enemies, and then you get to rape the wives, or you're out in the middle of nowhere, and there's some chick around there. You get, to, you get a bagger. You can bag her. That's fair game. But you can't go and bag your buddies. Girl. Just like David. David, the great one. David. One of the greatest human beings to ever live, if he did live, bagged his general's woman. He saw her taking a bath and he had to have her. Even though he had thousands of women, he still wanted her, whatever her name was. This was wrong, what Mr. Hogan did. This was terrible, what he did. It's a great transgression. And I'm sure he's ashamed of it because I don't think he's a sociopath. I think he's a good person at heart. I think he's a decent person. So that is really no evidence because they haven't provided any evidence. So I didn't provide, they didn't provide any, so I didn't provide any. They might be forthcoming. I don't think it's going to be because I think that's part of this deal that Hogan made to shut these people up. 
It's not going to come out. There will be a doubt, and, and people like me are never going to believe it. And then I hear him say it with his own mouth. I don't believe he said it, okay? Even though I said he might have said it, I don't believe it till I hear it, okay? Because I don't talk that way. I wouldn't go out, this gal I'm going out with now, I'm going to be going out with a new gal. Um, I wouldn't say that kind of language with her. I would not. I would. She would think I was some kind of monster, all right? She would think I was some kind of monster Nazi, some skinhead, which is what I look like anyway. I look like a skinhead. So I, I, I wouldn't um, I wouldn't believe it, okay? Now, <clears throat> what is the motivation for the WWE to completely destroy their greatest talent that they ever created, which I think he was? WWE Saturday main event Saturday night pulled 38 million viewers. 38 million viewers. 38 million. This is according to Wayne Ferris, the honky tonk band, the greatest intercontinental champion of all time. He said 38 million, and I believe it. It was very popular then. That was the golden age of wrestling. Why are they destroying their golden age? Because their product sucks. They've got no viewership. So they're trying to destroy the past, to de-Stalinize their past, so they can make their product more popular, so people will do that. And I don't blame Mr. McMahon. He wants to save his empire, and his empire is, cr is crumbling. I'm sure he's selling his stock just like his daughter is. But I don't know, and I don't care. I really don't care about this. I care about America. I care about us, and I care about one of my own being persecuted here. And he did something wrong. He did something worse than being a racist. He fucked his friend's wife, okay? That's what he did. That's what I'm ashamed of him for. Uh, I'm also ashamed of him that he went out and apologized and said that wasn't him. He should have said something like that is him, and that's a bad part of him, and he should clean that up. But, man, he's from Florida, for God's sake. And I'm getting tired of African-American people. Yeah, I said African-Americans because that's what y'all prefer to be called. I'm tired of y'all putting this shit on us all the time. Like we're not all slaves. We all work for wages. If you work for wages, you're a slave. Get real. Okay? All right. Well, that's all I got to say. Number one, I don't think he said it until I see it on film. Number two, I think they're trying to help the WWE product in the present. So that's what they're doing. It's a de-Stalinization, like what Khrushchev did to destroy Stalin, to build himself up, and to build up his deal, which is what, what people do. It's over. The past is dead. What do you got to keep it for? It's dead. Okay. Peace out.